Greetings everyone, and Grade here for another Cup Heroes 1 replay. Spawn on the top right side as the British Forces, we have Droppy. Spawn as the US Forces, we have SRV. Spawn on the bottom right side as the Panzer Leaf Forces, we have Wagon. And spawn as the Panzer Leaf player, we have Taylor. It's spelled funny. Is that the neither upcase nor lowercase? It's just funny. Third case. I have one in G's always. Why did he cap that? He did not go for the another engineer. What is he eyeing? One engineer is really uncommon, isn't it? And he capitalized that. Why? Do now the fuel point not being captured on up? As well, now we've got the scope rifle squad being knocked around by the cutting grad. Panzer Grandiers, they could eye for this garrison for a bit of heavy cover there. Or garrison will cover. Kent and Krad maybe eyeing the capital point now. Seems a little bit far away though. Panzer Grandiers engaging close range. Does get one of them picked off. Does get G43's research immediately. And Kent and doing a good job knock around this scope rifle squad. We'll slow reduce their damage output. We got the second Panzer Grenadiers pushing it forward. Kenny Grads parked in a location that is great. Easy to knock around this uh, intersection. Let's drop another mall there. And looks like the Scarborough squad will be forcing back. This HQ command truck is not packed up at the moment. And up here, we do have the Kenny Grad capturing up this northern munitions point, in which the US player has not touched these points because he only has one engineer. That's one reason why you didn't even go for you tend to go for a second engineer just simply for capping pressure in certainly the beginning game. And now the northern BP is gonna be forfeited to the Panzer Leap player with no fight. Let's go ahead and select the British player. This tend to be a bit more of a wider degree of openers for the Brits. We do have Lieutenant, we do have the Scope Rifle Squad not getting reinforced at the moment. Going for another intersection now. You should really enforce that uh, introduction. And now the Panzer Grenadier Squad trying to capture this point. The Jeep doing a good job knocking him out of it. The Rifleman Squad may decap the point. That's usually a job of the Kenton Grads. Does get to continue capturing with this model here. And does send the other Panzer Grenadier to capture the point there. So the point does get captured by the Panzer Grenadiers. We got these teammates Panzer Grenadiers now firing away against good damage from the Rifleman. Scope squad now being reinforced. We've got another intersection. I think he sought out reinforcing that squad. So he get out his third squad as soon as he can. But he, I think he had a plan. I sort of disagree with the plan. Panzer Grenadier is engaging the rifle squad at close range. Catagrad going to be eyeing to knock him around. Deep here eyeing to knock around the Panzer Grenadiers. A bit of a pit for Pat. And this Panzer Grenadier squad does fall back, severely wounded. And may it could be pursued and wiped out. Does... Maybe he's not pursuing? A little bit too late for it. And yep, he does go and turn around. Speedy Governors have been researched. G43 squad now going to receive some cheap fire. HQ Command Truck has now packed on up. And the Jeep is now engaging the category at point blank range, though the Jeep itself is seeing quite a bit of damage there. Another infrastructure base board unupgraded out of supply. And this scope of squad uh, I need to go for that fuel point now. I do have the engineers in there for repairs. His driving squad pushes way forward. And the G43 squad does fall back. Got these Panzer Grenadiers pushing over this flank. One of them is severely wounded. Has this player got the G43 squad? He's not the player G43 squad. He does have Luftwaffe ground forces selected. You can see by the Luftwaffe ground forces that he can be brought on in. So he's eyeing for some Flak 88s. Maybe a... Uh, a uh, verbal win. New section to capture that fuel point. And this rifle squad has seen a bit of fire there. Some of these Panzer Grenadier models are running forward. Some of them will be picked off. Oh, here I do now have the Panzer Grenadiers pushing forward, trying to get some dams there onto the infantry section. Armor car has now been pulled down the field. 
He does also get the comp proof company as well as the pounds of your command. The scope our squad is mostly a lot of fire. We've got another scope our squad inside the garrison. Fuel point will be captured. The squad does fall back. HQ command truck, not sure what's at the moment. We've got this squad of eight support. It does have the nearby support of a lieutenant. They just lose a pole panzer grenade squad there. See three casualties there. I wasn't really paying attention. I think so. He's down to two squads. Got this G42 squad of Bainson forward. We've got these two 2 2s now pushing away forward. Can get some great damage there. Gotta be careful about the friendly fire. 2 2s can splash each other pretty easily. That's Kenny Grant advancing Bainson forward. That's the little off ground forces. We do have no visible doctrine selected just yet. Or a doctrine selected. And now I got these forces pushing away forward. Let's force back these Panzer Grenadiers. Jeep. Knocking around these Panzer Grenadiers. He may wipe out one of these squads. No, he does not. An enemy unit. Is to see if you go to this kind of grad. There is a camouflage pattern for Luftwaffe ground forces. So there's nothing loaded in the back like other doctrines. Jeep now are seeing some auto cam fire. We'll quickly go on down. This uh, 2 2 does get the engine credited. Jeep going to be back in off. He does not focus down the Jeep. Rifle squad going to be pursuing the 2 2 2 now. Jeep is high in support. Other, another 2 2 is facing forward. The rifle squad does get ripped apart. So trying to focus it down. Jeep does go down. This rifle squad will go down. Out of patrol. Let's get fetch C1. Now let's go for the defense special C. And Rifleman does get wiped out. We got these 2 2 2s advancing on forward as well. The amount of 2 2 2s on the field, it may be a good idea to go for both for some placement, but it may lose one of these intersections. It does receive a bit of healing, but the next volley of auto cannon could take him out. Let's go behind some heavy cover now. Now he does save that intersection. Oh, was that the lieutenant? That was a lieutenant. Rifle squad advance on forward. We've got some 2-2s here. This 2 receive a bit of small arms fire. And now these intersections are backing off to the cache clearing station. Over here, these rifle squads are forward. And got the Kettigrad decapturing this cutoff point now. Transporter company has reported in and is ready to be deployed. And tracks are now available. Rifleman, oh, Booby Trap has a Venom team, so we've got Scorched Earth and Luff Off Ground Forces. We do see a Luff Off Ground Forces squad. Right now, the US player just has Rifleman, does have Supply Yard, does have a Motor Pool, Greyhound, and the Doku. Unknown Doctrine selected. And the British player does not get out to select Doctrine either, does have a Steel Support Truck going for a Lieutenant, maybe Iron for a Stewart. It does connect. Needs another shot there. Just actually trying to pursue. Got some Pantrex squads here. And the player's Tank Buster, so he won't be able to get double Pantrex. There's a lot of Pantrex there. A lot of rifle squads against the board. And does take out the Captain Grad now. We now have some roadblocks being pulled out of here. Very nice. Greyhound now being upgraded with the armor skirts. 50 cal will probably be shortly after. Brits also expended most of his munitions, or base his entirety of munitions. Does have PS and two scope rifle squads. Greyhound does get a good shot there onto the 2 2s, trying to blitz away, but the engine does get critted by the 30 cal uh, pinto mount. ED, tank destroyer? That would be incorrect. Armor car, receive a bit of damage. Infrastructure all behind some heavy cover, which is good position. He had squad pushed way forward, no lieutenant there to support him. In fact, he does not, has not rebuilt his lieutenant. 
Oh, here, Pierce, uh, Patrick Squad is being support. Rifle Squad is in bit of fire. This one has been captured on up. Pantrax do get a volley onto the M8. And there's now the big wave of Pantrax trying to reach down the 40 British HQ. Let's get some good damage there. Rifle squad going to use the area for reinforcements. Greyhound is trying to get some damage as well. Distracting the, uh, these Pantrax can be very useful. Bars now the one field, and these Pantrax grenades are quite wounded. Once the engineers are done repairing up the Greyhound, they should quite uh, repair up his teammates' HQ. Extra squad does fall back, but now got more pressure shots there under the, under the HQ. Greyhound is even a fire there. Light the yeah, track right there somehow. Let's get fully mobilized there. His main gun is short and crit. It's gun has it's, it's no longer mobilized, but still goes down. Let's get damage and crit there with the small arms fire. Light half tracks almost destroyed. It does go out of control now. NCOs reporting they have destroyed a German. Captain Grad does want the captain to the mission sector and on for the fuel uh, mission sector. Due to now advance forward, trying to get a good hit there onto the captain does force him back. Do not have a, a heavy assault, assault grenadier, heavy infantry. I always get that name mixed up. Rifle squad here is quite a bit damage, received quite a bit of damage there. Got these rifle squad push way forward. These guys are also wounded. Does he have triage center? He does not have triage center. That's why he's quite wounded. May only need to fall back. Vickers placement and 70 pounder both employed on field. Stuart now pushing way forward, trying to get a hit there onto the 2-2. Two -two. Rack squad does fall back, could be wiped out. Hands around onto the heavy assault or assault grenadier heavy infantry. And grand advance on forward. Did you receive it a hit there? That is a landmine deployed out by the US player. The Kennegrad does spot it. Kennegrad does spot it. It does short there. Do now trying to hit this intersection. It does go and deploy out some wire there. Stuart oh, finds a good hit there onto the 2 2, getting body blocked by his own Ket and Grad. Stuart does not find another shot there, trying to avoid these pantry tracks. The Stuart has four health, so it can withstand a bit of abuse, but there are four pantry track squads here. Can't withstand that much abuse. Gopar's squad does fall back now. We now have the uh, deployed as the marksman being deployed on out. And these squads are all being forced back as well. Trying to play us the trench there. At this point, is still catched up by the British player. Recon section active and sniper rifle issued. And now we do have an M3 half track being upgraded with the 50 cal, the quad 50 cal upgrade. Relatively rare thing to see, but I like to see it. Armor command truck now deployed out on the field. And multiple slit charges will be completed. Unknown number of enemy are moving on one of our victory points. And we've got that. I was going to squad being forced on back. Rifle squad receiving a fire there. Got the light gap track advancing forward. Now got the verbal wind deployed out as well. Light uh, M180 gun does get a good hit there on the light TF track. Two to twos and verbal wind gives a good damage on these rifle squad. Rifle squad here needs to fall back. Does get the central point captured up. 
the allies still have all 500 BPs. Cancer round annihilates one of the squads to get a couple of the members while at it. Gonna stay on to the steward. Needs a pull back. Those pick up Pendrick there with the rifle squad. Water half track gets some good suppression here. Force back to those kinds of grenadiers. Everyone rolls quick on the quad. So we're going to on the quad half track, so it's plenty of help to work with. And 180 guns in the area to help recover its retreat. So has only one engineer. He mentioned before in the beginning of the game, all caps that he has one engineer. And that also, and 2 2 does go down. The Flak Irving has seen a bit of fire as well. A Flak Irving. Marvel win. A mounted Flak Irving. You have a 40 HQ here. Very nice, which will give some extra healing and reinforcement in front line. And right now, the US player still has four command points. No visible doctrine. Got a landmine here. The Brit has five command points and no visible doctrine either. The. Of course, the. As the player here does have the verbal end, he's falling on his way to Flak 88 eventually. And his teammate has stuff selected. We know about the roadblocks. I don't haven't seen any booby traps just yet. Verbal one does receive a shot there. Rifle and squads need some damage. Rifle squad or scope rifle squads advancing on forward. Let's get some damage here. Looks like the Barber one does go down to more half uh, to the uh, AT guns. Mortar half track does get some shots there. Mortar uh, does wipe out one of the crews. But the one, the gun itself is almost destroyed. The half track may finish it off. One more good pen and it will go down. And the AT gun does get fully destroyed. Half track goes forward. Does get a fully immobilized Stuart. And the Stuart's now receiving multiple hits there. My cap track gives good hits. SDG squads and G43 squads pushing forward. Looks like a. Ooh, looks like a bunch of US repair engineers does go down. We have a command tank here as well that may be inspiring this steward who has no tracks or engine. Nope, it looks like not appear to be close enough. And those of the mortar half tracks getting some good pens onto the steward as well. So maybe he'll finish it off himself. And the steward does go down to the mortar half track. A rare kill for it. Let's go for squads against four, trying to get some damage there onto two two twos. AT gun may get destroyed. It does avoid the mortar fire, however. Central BP has been scorched. This will stall out the game for the Pan's lead players. Patrick's pushing his way forward, trying to find another engagement. Now got 70 powder being flooded in view. Supercharged rounds to the Supercharged rounds not available, so he's gone for Royal Artillery. He made has left an infantry, so both of them have access to various artillery assets. Off of power just available. I think the M2. Yep. First M2 deployed on the field as well. Going for our frag grenades as well. Rifleman gives a good damage on the Pantrax squads. Got the Soka squad half track firing away. Now I've got a flat gate eight being put on a field. This can help destroy all the AT guns in the right. area as well as ward away any sort of vehicle. 
Got some map accusations. And Grandier's being forced on back. He says he is hacking or map hacking. Let's see what they see. He does have the one with the mortar half track. There's currently firing right there. So far, I've seen nothing that would suggest that. And there goes the flak uh, to the quad half track. Don't include a real anti aircraft unit. Got some more hits there onto these scope practice squads. Wolf off ground force to see a bit of fire there. Artillery raining on in. Take out the flat Gideon now with the creep barrage. And maybe it's officer artillery. Got a flak Irving back here. Which now seems artillery fire as well. Let's get some pants over there. And now how these you can see a bit of fire there from the Panzer Shrek. Black Irving getting some good damage there. More artillery rain on him. Looks like an awful power shoot from the US player. Though that uh, Black Irving does go down to the 25 pounder. The wolves cannot be pulled in. He actually had 2,000 manpower. He is not eyeing for Panther research at the moment. He does have the, all the structures for Panthers. Don't really need anti vehicle assets like that at the moment, so he does have plenty of manpower for Pumals. He may be going for three, the amount of manpower he has stored up. It takes 10 population each, and he can fit two more in. Let's see now. We got a blind barrage that's being Open rained on in right there. Let's take out the landmine. Anjak squads push way forward. Scope rock squads in the areas. Three of them. They're all inspired by a lieutenant as well. These pants grenadiers do fall back now. It's like home will not pull it on the field. Over here, Pants Grandiers, they get interrupted through the roadblocks, but looks like he did actually get them all filled. Pants Grandiers push away forward, trying to get some good damage. Got a good number of SG squads here. You may want to go for some four man squads to get to improve their health and damage. Does throw a grenade there, does largely avoid it. Right from squad now, but just C2. Good mortar hit there onto that rifle and squad. Does fall back now. Now got some art more artillery raining right there. This looks like a regular Fumo barrage. SDG is now trying to gauge their riflemen. Got a number of roadblocks in this reach as well. The base, the 4 HQ here, does provide some good healing. M2 or 2500 gets good hit there. Does full for all that uh, heavy assault grenadier, heavy infantry. Does get some hits there on these rifleman squads. And it's getting skirting around. Those lose the 4 HQ now. What happened? We have destroyed an enemy unit. I mean, he's barraging the HQ. I'm pretty sure they know about that. Oh crap, not cinematic mode. Damn it. And that may cause the map now to be bugged out for the rest of the game. Let's get some good hits there. Does need to pull back on a large amount of fire coming to them. And got this squad being forced on back as well. I think Woman, one way we can help fix the... Field. Let's see. Trying to... Maybe if I zoom in all the way. And then... Zoom out. Can that fix the camera angle? Nope. So now we've got really bad at camera angles for the rest of the game. I think that may fix it. That's better. Not perfect. Looks 
the fourth ground forces do get forced back there. These squads are advancing on forward. We got these forces. Yep, that didn't really fix it. One time I managed to fix it. I'm not sure how though. The enemy is weakening even now. We are losing a central. Oh, got to be zoomed in nice and good now. Just have to make it a bit more angled. Rifle squads advancing on forward. Rifle squads see a bit of fire there. As we're just pushing forward, forward, trying to get some good damage. Looks like the central BP trying to be repaired on up. Rifle squad see a bit of fire as well. Got these scope rifles advancing on forward, trying to get some hits there onto these Pantrick squads. And now got these rifle squads trying to gauge around the flank. Oh, looks like they do final landmine there. Rifle squads. We receive a lot of damage there, but we've got these intersections trying to advance along the flank. There's four scope rifles. A number of rifles here as well. Kinds of ideas of trying to advance support, but just probably a little bit too much here for them to deal with. That was a good hit there with the Humu, however. Rifle squads do fall back. Another good hit there. Scope rifle squads advancing on forward. Humo at five kills is a pretty close range Humo, so we'll be able to get some accurate barrages. This Humo is a little bit wounded as well. Another Humo barrage raining on in. Now it's a little bit slow. Let's see if we can't fix the camera angle because of damn cinematic mode bug. Let's see, I managed doing it once before. Yep, and I don't remember how I did it before. I think uh, there was airborne in the field, and I managed to use the falling airborne for that. Avery going to cinematic mode. Zoom in all the way. Get out of cinematic mode, and nope. Now I've got the Hojin Megas engaging the M1AT gun. M1AT gun does get decrewed. At this Panzer Grenadier, it does disable the point there. And now with the Greyhound, a fresh Greyhound pulling a field. That could be from the off-map combat group. Maybe he does not have off-map combat group available, so he does have manually built that one. 50 cows on the way. SDG squad is going to see a bit of fire. The allies still have all 50 tickets. Panzer Grenadier squad does fall back. Okay, we've got these forces pushing forward. Pantrix start engaging. Takes out uh, MG bunker there, I believe, and does fall back now. Rifle squad advancing yeah. forward, trying to get some sticky bomb there. Does get a good hit with the Greyhound. Yeah. We got a bit of artillery on it. The Google does go down to the uh, counter barrage. There's a lot of artillery hitting it. Hi. These forces trying to advance forward, trying to engage that 2 2 2. Yeah. And now the 2 2 is seeing a bit of damage there, even from the 50 cal. Panther to pull on a field, that could be one way to deal with a Greyhound. You do sort of blood sort of way right there. Rolls and miss. Rolls a pen there. Destroyed him right there, so that Greyhound's good as dead. I think that 2 2 did in fact go down as well. Yep, it did go down. Let's get a sticky bomb onto that Panther now. Does get damage and crit. The other one's gonna be standing and fighting. The Rifle Squad does fall back. It's currently just double capture favor with US players. Hulk streaming his main support with their FG 42s. So he's a good damage there on the scope Rifle Squad. They have 200 points left. And that infrastructure squad does Enemy fall back. Petra yeah. Squad's advancing on forward. And yeah, these forces now is trying to run away. The scope Rifle Squad is trying to make its way forward. As you pull, it doesn't mark some there onto that Ocean Jaeger. And your squad's making the way forward. We've got another MG in place to get express down these kind of grenadiers. He's a hit on the Sunday Powder, who is probably paired up by these P squads in combat. Let's force back both those squads. And now it's a little bit quiet. Let me see if I can't fix the damn cinematic mode. I wonder if I go like this, go like this. 
that fix it? Nope. Yep, damn cinematic mode. They're taking one of our points. They really don't like each other right now, I guess. You know, I got the fantasy bit of fire there. Rifle Squad does get forced back there. This Rifle Squad does those three bomb. The other one still has damage and crits, so this one will likely get a damage and crits as well. Yes, it does. Times Manager is pushing way forward. Rifle Squad does fall back over here. Do have these forces. That's going to be damage in the mortar half track. Or half track receive a lot of artillery fire there. Now these nice crosses try and push way forward. Can get damage there onto the rifleman. And that has to the squad does get wiped out. He may be able to iron for a grenade on the other one. Does bend into the garrison. Does make it out on the out of the garrison and falls back. It does dodge the grenade there. G43 squad push way forward. Does he suppress the fire there to do his hit support? Looks like the AT gun does get decrewed. Weapon crew lost. We are losing contact with one of our sectors. We got a broken to get on the field. It's so up on cover cover some vehicles. I wonder how many carcasses on the field there. I know that's a Kettengrad here. Enemy unit and maybe down. Oh, we do have a... No, that's a US quad half-track. Damn, cinematic mode bug. It's hard to see anything. I keep it angled like this. Rifle and squads push way forward. Gains good damage on the Huntsman Deer. Does fall back. Let's see, there's sector artillery now raining on in. If you take a look at everybody's resources, the US player is pretty close to the off-map combat group. Has plenty of manpower for it as well. We have this player, which is... Wait. The Brit so has a, oh yeah, he's one for Royal Artillery. And so has no visible doctrine, has plenty of resources sort of barring munitions, has the armor command truck as well. He does have the command tank as well. The low off ground force player does have a bit of manpower and munitions. Not a lot of fuel at the it's moment. So and one less uh vehicle there. I'm not sure what it was, some sort of half track. Of course now trying to run away. Second artillery is still running this sector. If all Shemegers may want to fall back. I've got the Henschel Strafing Support now running on it as well. Run at these uh, Firefly and the Command Tank. Roll some misses there. Oh, Shemegers does get wiped out there. Got three intersections here to our scope rifles. The friend squad inside the slit trench. More intersection main support does full withdrawal them. I got some more artillery raining in this back sector. We have the light hand tracking hit. Light hand track does go down. And going to go forward and get a good engagement. Got the firefly see a bit of fire there. Alright, squad's advancing on forward, trying to get some good damage on the Pentagon and Deers. Friend squads do wipe out that Pentagon Deer. Martyr deployed on the field. Interesting. Getting annihilated by the M1AT gun. And the Panther there is blocking his retreat, so it will go down. And, oh, I forgot to mention, the Scorched Earth player does have. Two Kumos on the field, two Panthers, only a couple of Panzer Grenadiers, and two to two, and the Burg and Tiga. And a good amount of fuel, manpower, and munitions. If you're just keeping fire there, second artillery is now raining on in, forcing back the rifle squad. And over here, do you have the Panther pushing way forward? Does he got the 25 pounder? Firefly Vance forward, does go down to the Henschel. Next HS129 B3 is getting another streak run. I think it's going to hit the command tank. Or maybe not. 
get something else. Command can get special C3. There goes this Firefly to the Henschel. He's got a 25 pound as well. I'm with a 25 pounder now. Actually, clearing station is still alive. That one does go down as well. The Brits is taking out massive beating. It's going to match truck. See a bit more fire there, more Henschel straight and runs. All those rounds are just being angled off in the distance. I got the M1 anti gun, Fetch C1, gain some hit, uh, chip damage on the Panther. Infrastructures do all fall back now. Got some drop, uh, a drop bar, drop Piet. Do not have a priest here. That was going to throw in the senior grenade there. Rifleman right threw a frag onto the Hunter Does get a decent hit there. Rifleman right squad does fall back. Hunter squad will likely fall back soon. SDG squad engaging. This one has been decaptured and now scored. The Axis players do not have a lot of BPs remaining. Got more artillery ran in. Sector two in this sector. Creeping barrage somewhere. Armor car advancing forward. Trying to maybe try to hit the Google. Greyhound trying to hit the Google now. He does have enough missions to off that power shoot, so you may want to call that in. Let's get a nice little line of sight block there. Hellcat tried to burn, probably from off map combat group, since that's a 50 cal upgraded. Does roll with bounce there on the Panther. The Greyhound's going to go for the rear armor of the Panther now. Hellcat does finish off there, destroy engine crit there on the Hellcat. Those are out of control there to Sector Artillery. Sector Artillery is not trying to hit the Greyhound. Next sector to turn around, quick thing up the Greyhound. No, it took out the Hummel. <laughs> Though he does have the Burgantica, right? Burgantica's on the field. Does repair up this Panther. This Panther and Hummel can be recovered next. More artillery running on in, trying to hit the VP. Artillery raining on in. Rifle advance on the flanks. Mission sector has been captured up. We also got the soap of squad or seemed to fire there. Three squads are rifling the dancing on forward. Now I got the Hummel recovered. Those rotate around. Let's take up the two two there. Artillery barrage ring on in. The Panther Car is still at half health. Oh, did that, uh, Hummel went down immediately. Artillery raining on in, Panther firing away. Airburst rounds, gain some damage onto the Panther, so is the M1 AT guns. Nice moves of force, starting moves of force there. It does get fully mobilized due to that sticky bomb there from the Rifleman. Now the two seem bit of fire there. Oh, Google Barrage does get a small hit there. And does the fire hold fire or just go blow up his own to two. He heard something else get exploded. That two to do does go down to recover by the Fumo. Or not Fumo, there for Kiga. One carcass does go down there. There's still another Panther carcass over here. Water over on the flank. And it looks like one of the X players do back of the game. So that's going to be the end of the replay. Got to the ring in as well. And the VP is going to be running out before even the game kicks him out. This is Adam Gray saying thank you for watching and on to the next replay.